BattleBots World Championship 7 has begun, and we're back with an all-new version of Bloodsport, featuring a new weapon system on top of the robot, a more compact chassis, new ground attachments, and of course, a new set of blades. This year, BattleBots has published our entire fight night schedule out ahead of time, and our first match pits us against the destructive drum of Copperhead. What have we brought to the table to fight vertical spinners this year? I'm Nick, blade designer for Team Bloodsport, and this is the Chonk Key. Weapon-to-weapon -weapon hits with vertical spinners are the toughest type of impact for us to design for with Bloodsport, and it's a secret we've been trying for years to unlock. Let's recap. Longtime fans may remember the original Keyblade we made way back in Season 4 when Bloodsport was round. That design was based on three main ideas. One was that getting more bite on a vert raises our chance of smacking them from the side before they can catch the underside of our blade. The tooth was also tapered in the back to make it a smaller target from underneath. Lastly, it was shorter and thicker than our other bar to give it more bending strength. Unfortunately, we made a lot of rookie mistakes with its design. We never used it in 2019 due to its short reach, and the fact that the large thin counterweight could be a major weakness, but in later years we discovered even more problems. In Season 5, we upgraded the Bloodsport 2 and made our blades heavier. That extra weight allowed us to make the thick bar, which was stronger and had more reach than the key. Unfortunately, in our last fight of the season, Lockjaw shattered the thick bar and showed us that a bar as long and as thin as ours can't handle a vertical hit when it's made of S7 tool steel, which cracks under extreme stress. For Season 6, we switched to the more crack-resistant AR500 steel for all our other blades, but the thick bar had pocketing geometry that can't be easily replicated with AR500 unless you're a crazy person. A solid AR key would have helped with this, but we were concerned that a solid AR500 bar would bend or the teeth would be carved away. So we made the Club Sandwich, an experimental bar with AR500 bread, an aluminum center, and S7 impactors on the ends that also acted as alignment blocks to prevent any shear loads on the bolts. This made for an even thicker bar with harder teeth, and in theory, all the strength would be concentrated at the top and bottom where all the bending stresses are. It was designed more with bots like Endgame and Lockjaw in mind though, and when we fought Minotaur it came down to the sandwich or the key. The final nail in the key's coffin was an issue with the center bore that caused it to go off kilter in spin-up tests, so we went with the sandwich instead. Minotaur absolutely mangled the sandwich by catching the teeth from underneath and pulling all the bolts out in tension. That drum is way more powerful than we thought. Given that the key was made from S7 though, I don't think it would have fared better. After seeing the sandwich get obliterated, the idea of a solid AR500 key suddenly looked a lot better. Sure, tooth wear and bending are still concerns, but the club sandwich design was a prime example of chasing perfection at the cost of the rugged simplicity that's needed to succeed in BattleBots. And that brings us to World Championship 7 and our latest anti-vert blade, the Chonk Key. At an inch and a quarter thick, this bar matches the thickness of our Season 5 thick bar that took down Endgame, but without any of the pocketing underneath. This is made possible by the wide counterweight, which serves the same purpose as the stabilizer wings on the old bar without adding nearly as much weight. Comparing the cross sections and FEA for the two blades, the Chonk Key is beefier and stronger than the old thick bar, despite the lower yield strength of AR500. It does not match the theoretical strength of the club sandwich, but then neither did the club sandwich, so we're confident that this is closer to an ideal solution than anything we've run before. So what about the original problems with the key, the low reach and vulnerable counterweight? The Chonk Key being a full 10 pounds heavier than the original gives us weight to make the bar slightly longer, and also add weight to the counterweight so it can achieve the same balance while also being shorter. As a result, the counterweight is much less likely to get hit, and if it does, the extra thickness and the toughness of AR500 will make the results far less catastrophic. There's one last problem though. Cutting a big awkward shape like this out of a thick piece of steel is way more expensive than a narrow bar with a wing attached to it. Fortunately though, our sponsor Tell Steel can help with that. Tell Steel is a metal service center that has supplied premium stainless, alloy, carbon steel, and more to the greater Los Angeles area for over 50 years. They have over 17 million pounds of steel on site, including a bunch of different thicknesses of AR500. They cut our blades on their new water jet, which is perfect for us because it doesn't heat the metal like laser or plasma cutting would, which can affect the temper of hardened steel and cause warping. It can also hit better tolerances. Tell's new water jet was so accurate with the Chonk Key that it was perfectly balanced the very first time we assembled it. No grinding necessary. Big thanks to them, and make sure to check them out at tellsteel.com, link in the description. So there you have it, 
How do you think this blade will do? Let us know in the comments, and be sure to watch our World Championship 7 debut against Copperhead this Thursday on Discovery Channel and Discovery Plus. Thanks for watching!